Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Basirah binti Abaka and I will be presenting on effectiveness of Abahata method for the visually impaired in learning Quran real as a pilot study. According to WHO, the 10th revision of the International Statistical Classification of Disease and Related Health Problem, when visual activity is less than 6 upon 18 but is equal to or better than 3 upon 60, it shows that a person considered to have a low vision. When an individual's vision is worse than 3 upon 60, in the better eyes with the best possible correction and the visual field is less than 10 degrees in both eyes it is considered blind in Malaysia there are 2.44 or 0.29 percent respectively in Malaysia people in all ages have visual impaired low visual impaired and blind in order to help them to write and read, there are a system called Braille. Braille is a writing system that inscripts character on paper using patterns of phrase dot. Braille is also sensory substitution that allows visual impaired people to read and write. It is also encourages the visually impaired people to use touch instead of vision to read and write. For all Braille symbols, for all Braille symbols. The braille cells consist of six dots, two across, and three down, and is called the basic unit, as what we can see here in the figure one. But in learning Al Quran and teaching Al Quran, there are several approaches and techniques. But in learning and teaching Al Quran, there are several approaches and techniques to approach this kind of visual impact in order to ensure that students can master the skill of studying Quran, the learning methods and strategies need to rapid assessment and development. It includes reading, memorization and learning the rules of Tajweed. So in the research problem that we can see here is there are many challenges to teach a learning process or this Quranic module, especially to the Braille method and the Braille educators. According to one of the researchers, uh, Nur Khairia, the Quran module using Braille should achieve the standard recognition of single Hijaiyah alphabet, ability of vocalization for connected Hijaiyah alphabets through writing using Abahata formulas and techniques. So, what is Abahata technique? Um, this is the technique that you have to know three things. One is you have to read. After read, you have to write. And after write, you have to know a basic a basic rules of Tajweed, such as um, And um, to make these three approaches um, Three uh, steps, reading, recite, writing, and learn the, uh, the Tajweed, they have one memory aid which call singing. So, uh, in so this technique is, as we can see here, when this Abahata is using memory aid which call singing, so it is help so as we can see here if the abahata technique memory aid is singing this is a uh, opportunity for the in visually impaired to be more uh, understand and to be more easy when you, they are using abahata methods because most of the visually impaired or blind people have a good memorization and they are very touched to the singing or the hearing things. So in this technique, it is um, so this technique will help them more on a memory for them to learn a Quran and know how to touch the Quran. So when, when we are speaking about Abahata method, through the blind, 
of course we have to translate it into real and what kind of the method that we use first is and what kind of the tactic that's similar to the non-visual impact through the Abahata method is first they need to learn the singing Abahata jada sakho taza soza asha roba popa gozo kama kala haya nawa haya nawa this is the memory aid which called is singing so the blind person need to sing and they need to remember after that they will touch the sensory which which we call is blood breath after they understand chapter by chapter on the abahata singing and the abahata braille each chapter they need to type whether they are using computer or they are using a braille uh, a braille a braille kit or a braille machine so this technique will help them with the memory aid when we sing after that they are reading through the braille and after that they are typing what they are reading this, this is helping them to more understand the Al-Quran and know how to read the Al-Quran easier and faster of course for non-visual impact this Abahata technique takes about 30 hours to a zero people know how to read the Al-Quran until they understand and know how to read and write Al-Quran in 30 hours but this study will study how much hours and effectiveness to the visual impact when they are using Abahata method maybe 30 hours maybe less than 30 hours or maybe more than 30 hours this is what we're gonna see in this study our specific objective here our specific objective in this study is to develop the Abahata method in learning the Quran Braille uh, among the visually impaired patients to determine second is we need to determine the reliability of using Abahata method for the visually impaired patient to learn and type hijaya letters of the Quran Braille and the third one is to evaluate the quality of learning the Quran Braille for the visually impaired with and without using Abahata method so we have two comparison here a visually impaired with the Abahata method and the visually impaired non Abahata method so so we want to see and we want to see the comparison the effectiveness for non Abahata method and the Abahata method to the visually impaired person two comparison here a visually impaired with the Abahata method and the visually impaired non Abahata method so we want to see and we want to see the comparison the effectiveness for non Abahata method and the Abahata method to the visually impaired person. In this early stage, we are looking for a literature review, which we have a themes in this literature review. In this literature review. So, uh, in the first stage of our research here is we look after the LR, of course. We divide into four themes of um, this research. First is Abahata effectiveness parameters, which we find about 8% in this study. And uh, the second theme is the importance of Braille to the visual impact. And the third one is Quran Braille limitation and the challenges. And the fourth one is about Abahata methods in use in learning Al Quran. So we have four types of themes in our LR. So, um, to summarize the literature review that we found, we have three things that we have to highlight here. Is the first one is the limitation and the challenges in the learning Quran Braille. So, the first one is the difficulty of usage the Quranic Braille skills. The skill is very limited. Limited on teaching time and lack of teachers that know how to teach the Quran Braille. So, second summarization that we found in our LR is the Abahata method that are using to learn Al-Quran. First is um, the recognition of single hijaya alphabets. The second one is the ability to vocalization for connected hijaya alphabets. 
and the third one is able to read and write syllabus of words leading to complete uh, ayah. So these three things are about the abahata methods in how to use in Al-Quran that makes most of uh, people who are learning through the abahata method most of them 90% of them can read and recite well in Al-Quran so the third summarization that we found in our LR is about abahata effectiveness parameters of course we see here the frequency the duration of arrangement of construction limitation and pronunciation so in this manner we see that abahata effectiveness is very effective to the non-visual impact but in this study we want to apply this method to the non visual uh, to the visual sorry to the visual impact or we can call it as blind so how we gonna do this research and what are the methods of this research of course the first one is we have to translate all the abahata methods syllabus books and everything into the braille uh, to have a preparation for the teachers to teach and after that, we have to do some TOT to the person who want to go to the school and teach the Abahata method through the, through the break. And after that, we selected a school that have um, maybe 10 or 20 students. They are, they are no knowledge on Al-Quran. And after that, we are selecting a school that have uh, blind people or visually impaired person. Um, that will consist as our sample uh, to examine our Abahata method. So these teachers who have gone to the TOT for Abahata Braille, they have to go to the school and to teach. And after that, they will count on how was the effectiveness to the uh, Abahata methods. After that, uh, and after that, all of the data will be collected and will be analyzed in a more deeper manner. In conclusion, we hope that this study will help the visual impact to have a new method on easier way to learn Al-Quran and to write the Al-Quran. So that's all for me. I am Basira Binti Abaka and Salam Sejahtera. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.